Guys, today we're doing something. Ah, it's so exciting. It's like, it's one of those things that just makes my life so much easier and I just I just have to share it with you. If you know me a little bit, you know that I'm not a huge fan, which is putting it lightly, I'm not a huge fan of editing my audio. After spending hours and hours, days on my video part, so the visuals and everything looks great, it is time to edit my audio and every time I'm like, I really don't want to, I really don't want to. But I also know that editing my audio is so important because we know that audio is just as important or actually it's more important than good visuals. So that is why today we are going to have our mind blown again because today I am going to show you how to use the auto audio ducking feature in Premiere Pro. As you can see right here, this is the perfect spot to use the auto audio ducking effect because here I'm talking, I want the music to be introduced but I want it to be subtle and then I want the music to be louder and then I want to lower the volume again. One way of doing this is of course doing it manually and I've done it manually multiple times and I've done it for the longest time. But this audio ducking effect just makes things so much easier, so much faster, and that is what I like, because like I just said, I am not a fan of editing my audio. I know I should be more interested in it. I'm not, so this, <laughs> this is magic. So first what we need to do, as you can see right now, we're still in the editing workspace. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the audio workspace. The first essential step that we need to do in order to make this work is to label all of our audio accordingly. So when you're in the audio workspace, you will see right here, you'll see dialogue music, SFX and ambience. So just select all of your dialogue clips and then click on dialogue and then do the same for your sound effects and your music. When you label your music as music, you will see a little option right here that says ducking. Go ahead and check that box. Now everything that was grayed out isn't grayed out anymore. And as you can see right here, it says duck against and you see a few little icons. And the icon that we want to select is the little text bubble right here. And if you hover over it with your cursor, you will also see that it says duck against dialogue clips. And that is exactly what we want. Now the next step is to check the sensitivity. Very simply put, sensitivity is basically how responsive you want this audio ducking feature to be. So if you want it to be very responsive, then you increase the value. And if you want it to be less responsive, you decrease the value. As it says right here, it says low and high. The third option is duck amount. And this is just basically how loud do you want your music to be when you're still talking. I like my music to be quite subtle when I'm talking so that you can clearly hear me talk and you're not being distracted by the music. So I am going to increase the duck amount. In other words, I am going to lower the volume or reduce the audio levels. The last option before we can use this feature is fades. And this is the duration or how long you want to transition between the audio levels to be. So from your B-roll to your talking headshot again, how long do you want that to be? Do you want it to reduce slowly or do you want it to reduce very fast? And that is why you would adjust the value of the fades. All right, we have set all of our settings. And if you've rushed through this tutorial and you're like, okay, cool. And then you just play through it and it's not working. Um, don't feel guilty because I have been there too. What I did was I just set all of my settings and I was like, okay, cool. It's not working. Well, it's not working because we haven't clicked on generate keyframes. Click on generate keyframes right here and then give Premiere Pro some time to generate those keyframes and you're done. It just, it, we just save so much time. I don't know what it is, but there is something about these audio effects and audio features in Premiere Pro that just, they keep blowing my mind. Editing audio in Premiere Pro is just so easy and I'm so happy about that. Now, after you've given Premiere Pro some time to generate those keyframes and you wanna see those keyframes, just go to your timeline, enlarge the music track, and as you can see, this is where the keyframes are. And this is also where you can adjust it. If you wanna adjust it, you can just drag this line right here or drag this line right here and change the audio levels. Now, if you've generated the keyframes and you find that the audio ducking is still not working, I want you to go back to your timeline and make sure that you've labeled everything accordingly. Because if you miss a dialogue clip and you haven't labeled it accordingly, Premiere Pro doesn't recognize it as dialogue and the music will just be loud. So go back and make sure that you've labeled 
everything accordingly. Now, if you wanna know how to edit audio super easy, super fast in Premiere Pro, then make sure to check out this video. And of course, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell in case you wanna be notified when new videos come out. I hope you do. And I'll see you in my next video. I am done with this vlog, so I'm just gonna drink a cocktail or something.